So when you're browsing the web in Windows 11, there's a chance that you're going to encounter what's called a mail to link. So a mail to link, if you look at this, I created a quick web page to show you. If I hover on this link right here, and then we look at the very bottom of the browser, you can see it says mail to colon mattrefke at gmail.com. So when we click it, Windows is going to launch what it considers to be the default mail provider. In this case, it's like, hey, use the new Outlook. That's nice and all. The new Outlook is cool. But personally, I just want to use Gmail on the web. That's what I'm used to. And that's what I want. And so to get this done, let's go and close this and now go to Windows here and search for default apps. And when this comes up, we're going to search for mail to at the top. Select it and you'll see it says Outlook new. Makes sense. Then when we click this, we run into a problem. There's no Gmail app. I shouldn't need a Gmail app though. I should be able to just access it via a browser. So how do we get this done? Here's how. Let's close this right now. Minimize the settings. And we're going to go to this note here. This note has a path. So this is for Google Chrome. And if we copy this particular path and stick it in the address bar, it's going to bring us to the settings specifically to the page where we need to be. In this case, our goal is to make sure that sites can ask to handle protocols is enabled and that the mail service we're interested in is not listed below here. If it's listed below here, we have to exit off. Okay, that's a good way to start this. And then once you validate that, simply go to the service provider you want to use. So in my case, it's gmail.com. And as I visit the page, nothing occurs. But on the right here, there's this little icon. Okay, this page wants to install a service handler. So we click that and here be careful. If you click the X here because you want to choose later or whatever, they're going to treat it as you ignoring it. So what you have to say is just click allow and done. That's it. This window comes up. It's kind of weird. Like it comes up and nothing changes. You can kind of ignore it. Just close the settings. And then if you go back to the example page and click, look what happens. It forwards to Gmail correctly. So hey, it's working. And that's how you get it done.